So, according to the lore of this game, Shadow fucked Sonic's wife. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in Arthur's Oh, right, lore, he's Lancelot in this game. <laughs> Lancelot fucked oh, Arthur's oh, wife. Okay. <laughs> and Silver is Shadow's oh. son. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, this is the game that pronounced that the storybook series was a thing. And the storybook series ah. never had another game, ever. We don't know that! It, give us some time, Ted. Please write us. Gareth, like a okay, Gareth, gap Gareth, the Gareth. If there is another storybook series game, all right, Here I will comes, spend boys. fifteen this is of the my own Ted dollars. Says it ain't gonna happen, and it happens the next day. I will spend fifteen on my of my own dollars on whatever embarrassing thing you want me to. All right. Oh, nice. You're the first boys and girls. There's too much power to give Gareth. <laughs> what can he? What can he make me buy for with fifteen dollars that I would? Oh, I can make you buy a lot of things. <laughs> Ted, Ted, go, Ted, go and buy fifteen one dollar knives and shove them into your eyeballs. I didn't say that you could tell me what to do with them. I just said that you could tell me how to make my financial planning, which is, I guess, also not a great plan. All right. But so, this game. It being announced, all that sort of thing. What were your guys' like initial reactions to this being a thing? Finally, a Sonic game based in England. <laughs> Finally, my time has come. <laughs> uh, my thoughts were basically, um, really, Sigurd rings it well enough for you to actually make this. <laughs> my reaction to the trailer was, what? Yeah, uh, I, I'm of a similar, uh, similar mindset, but I'm also, I was also like, uh, Jesus, we already got. Because this was announced, like, uh, around the same time that Chronicles and Unleashed were making the rounds. They, they weren't even released yet, I believe. Yeah, because this game came and out in 2008. Game... 2009. 2009. Yeah. So, yeah, so yeah. Unleashed, Unleashed was, because I remember, I was I was actually more looking forward to Black Knight than Unleashed. Um, <laughs> before it came out. So. so, does that mean hashtag Black Knight is art? You bet your fucking asses. Look at this. I love this. is amazing. I love this they, intro. Was this, this the first? So I think this was the first game to canonize the Chili Dogs. No, that was uh, No, this... Was the, it? Uh, Black, the Black is... So this is the history of, of the... This is the first game where we see him eat them in a cutscene. Uh, Unleashed was the first game to reference them. But the, ah, Japanese, right, right. But the Japanese website for Sonic Advance 3 lists Chili Dogs as his favorite food. That's the nerdiest thing I've heard you say. And you've said a lot <laughs> of nerdy shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Satan. Thank you for eating my call. I'm sorry to interrupt your chili dog session. For the day, <laughs> I also love how all of those monsters just stand there while Sonic falls from the sky instead of killing Merlina like they're supposed to. I mean, I'd be oh, very shocked. Hey, they, they just... They are just... They are just... Sticking to the rules of the Geneva Convention. If someone's eating lunch, you gotta hold off for a second, right? He's gotta finish his chili dog, then they'll stab him through the face. Look, this isn't an RPG. They don't have to stand there in line and wait no for Sonic to make There's no gentleman battles. There's no gentleman battles. I brought, like, I remember seeing this. But I thought, I, I thought this moment here, where he swings his chili dogs on his knuckles, was so bad. Uh, it doesn't make any physical sense. <laughs> but I fucking love this moment so much. It's so cool. What is that? hot dog roll made out of that it can do that. It must be hard as rock. Plasticine, I don't fucking know. Also, considering how fast Sonic can run, if Merlina can hold him back, she doesn't need his help to stop King Arthur. Okay, um, Merlina, also, you you summoned this guy specifically to be King Arthur, now you're just running away with him. <laughs> also, how, how, far, how far into spoilers can we get with this? This game's over, like... I already spoiled this like that. Years, I already spoiled that Sonic's old. King Arthur. I don't think Well, no, it really but I'm matters. like... I'm like, uh, you know what? It's been a while since I played this. I'm like, you. this is your creation, woman. What are you fuck? I forget the reason why she creates him in the first they, place. You know what? She doesn't, I don't think. She just said that... Actually, she summoned him to help her, and then... Okay. I don't think they ever away. mentioned that she summoned her, though, but she needed Sonic to defeat King Arthur so she could get the scabbard so she can like destroy the world or keep the world from being destroyed I don't the, the, it's a Sonic so plot. so likes like um, Sonic and the secret rings having a very misleading title um, as we just saw in the light of English day which is not very bright um, King Arthur is, is clearly a golden knight not a black one 
the black can be a metaphor. Just, just all right, just black it as in no, like because evil. It's because in, in, in all the renders, in, like in the render on the front cover, in the render in like Sonic Runners, he's like he has like black armor. But when you actually fight him in the game, he's got golden armor. What is it, Sega? Quit jerking me around. <laughs> hey, hey, Gareth, I'm gonna teach you a concept from second grade, and that's that a word can have you two different. You passed second grade? I, you know what? I'm not gonna lie. It took me four tries, <laughs> but yes, I eventually figured out how to spell tomorrow, and then they let me go to third grade. I'm still working on that one, though. Maybe you know, maybe I can figure out long division, and they'll let me into fourth. But we'll see about that. I'm a little scared. I'm out of mulligans. <laughs> I drank all my milk already. It's nap time. I want to go. <laughs> you don't get nap time in third grade. What kind of school do they send you to in England? Good ones. We get to nap whenever we want. <laughs> oh man, I'm jealous. Also, one thing that I'm really grateful for is, is that these cutscenes, while similar in style to Secret Rings, are way better because they yes. have the characters like at least Moving. change poses every couple seconds instead of staring at something that will etch into your CRT TV screen after how long. It I takes. think it worked. I, but I think that worked in the context of Secret Rings. To be I fair, I mean, it, it it was passable, but they just did a much better. Job I mean, here. I I would also I also just think the actual, I just think the actual individual frames is drawn better in these cutscenes, and they, I think there's a handful of ones in Secret Rings where Sonic they were like, they kind of look off model, kind of. I don't just really remember the Secret Rings art well enough to say either way. To be fair, it was definitely it was probably a different artist. Also, altogether. again, this okay, this is me being anal and nitpicky, and I'm sure Clement will just. Will just come back with his trademark. It's a video game, but Sonic picks up a sword before he is instructed to by Melina. Why does he pick up a sword <laughs> at the start of the level before she says, "Let's work on your swordsman"? Oh, that's fucking lucky. He's already picked up a fucking sword. I, I'm more like, "Is like, what I need a sword? I, I, I took care of King Arthur's minions without one earlier." Because swords are cool. All right, I don't. I won't deny that. But it's like I don't it doesn't need it. Like yeah, so I also don't need a Ferrari, but I would certainly take one if one was lying on the ground for me. You wouldn't use a Ferrari. Well, actually, you probably could run over King Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> it is it is weird how she's like pick up a sword and he's like, well, normally I just run into things with my face. I thought I'd give that a try, maybe, <laughs> and we'll go from there. How does that sound? I've blown up a lot of space stations just by myself. <laughs> space. <laughs> Okay, excuse me. <laughs> the one space station he did blow. Oh wait, no. I guess technically Death Egg. No, Tails was there. He did. We was not by himself. All right. I. I yeah, he was. No. Which, did, no, no, which one? Yeah, Sonic was by him in Sonic Two. Sonic did it by himself. Yeah. Tails only called. Yeah, that's not it doing exploded. it by yourself. That's like yes, no, because he, he didn't stick the landing finger. without help. That's not finishing the job. <laughs> okay, okay. Ted, given those are that, two given different what things. Sonic if had... Sonic would have fallen to the ground and exploded, he still would have defeated the Death Egg. He just would have died <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> Stop trying to give Tails credit he doesn't deserve. I just find it weird in this game that, just to be slightly nerdy here, it's like, they keep calling it Excalibur's, like, feet and all that. It's like, or Scabbard, and it's like, it has a name. Wait, the Scabbard has a name? <laughs> Avalon. Yeah, yeah. No, I thought Avalon was the, <laughs> Avalon was the <laughs> island. we told you not to call it <laughs> yeah. that. No, Aval Avalon is the, the Scabbard of the sword. I'm pretty sure, hold on. Let me at look at At up. least in Black Knight's context, Avalon is the location that we're in. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, hold on. Uh, Avalon... Uh, hold on. There's like uh, a bunch. It's the legendary island of Arthurian legend. All right, there we okay, go. Okay, I was wrong. <laughs> I, I could have sworn it was the scabbard. Excalibur. I, I guess I was wrong. Hold on. Let's see. Excalibur's sheath name. Um. Oh, actually, you know what? They didn't pull this out of their, their, their ass. Apparently. No, I know. It, they, I know. It, I know it protects him. But I was yeah. for sure. It, I thought for sure it was named Avalon, but I guess I was wrong. Yeah, in some tellings, Excalibur's scabbard was said to have powers of its own, as the one wearing it would not lose even a drop of blood. Okay. All right. You know what? I always thought it was really weird that, oh, it's scabbard gave him incredible power, as if it's just like, all right, cool. No, that, that was a legit thing. Yeah, but I, you know, I was like, what, this game came out in 2009? I was like 16 yeah. when this game came out. I didn't know. Yeah. 
Well, I was 16 when this game came out. That's that's weird. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I was gonna say that just in in, ev in every conceivable way. And I, I think we may have even said this in the Secret Rings LP. In every conceivable way. Right there, fuck you pigs. This is a better <laughs> tutorial level. In every single fucking Absolutely. way. Than um, yeah. the one in Secret Rings. This this feels like a fucking level. This, this music track, Misty Lake, is so fucking good. Oh, th this it's, game does not deserve the soundtrack. <laughs> fuck you, it does. It's, 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 it's good. pretty good. It's a, it's a really, I, I like the soundtrack a lot in this game. S Sonic and the Black Knight has a phenomenal soundtrack. Yep. I mean, this, I, I just, I mean, this, don't like the game. this was the first, um, I'm watching you watch this, uh, th this was the first time June Sonoy came back since Shadow the Hedgehog. I do appreciate yeah, that it sounds idea. like Sonic music, even though it's using, like, classical instruments. That's, you know, not usually what Sonic goes for. I just, yes. personally, like, I wouldn't say it's like a top five or maybe even like top 10 sonic soundtrack i, I would i would but th like. that's just kind of because i don't really remember many of the songs from this game aside from like uh night of the wind and the you mean the crush 40 songs yeah the crush 40 well i i mean i'm i wasn't gonna try to start the arguments this soon but i think live life is overrated fight me irl well if individual songs is a different argument i still think to this day this is some of crush 40's best work. oh damn straight yeah like I love pretty much every single Crash 4 song. In this I was uh, through the fire. I think is one of the most underrated Sonic songs in general. No, I love. Uh, I like Fight the Night a little more. Fight the Night. I, I love my, Fight the Night. My yeah. vote to fight the Kai. I get you, Johnny. I get you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and with me. It's so windy. So Gareth, look, the grass in this game is better than the grass in Sonic Boom because, like, if Sonic swings his sword near it, it actually cuts. Fuck you, Hyrule Warriors. Yeah, it's better than the grass in Hyrule <laughs> Warriors too. <laughs> Maybe. So like a black type best game ever made. <laughs> you name you name me one other Sonic game where you can stab a fucking dragon, and I'll call you a cokehead because you can't do it. It's the only one. <laughs> well, just go to the Sonic hacking community and they'll make one for you. <laughs> I just I don't get why this dragon is like smelling Sonic and letting him like cut his nose off. It's it's just I, bizarre. I will say in in terms of in terms of control, uh, you know I'm saying like pretty much everything in regards to Secret Rings. The control in this game is a step up from Secret Rings. It's not perfect. I wish that like, I going backwards is still the stupid Sonic like fucking walks backwards, looks behind the shoulder type of thing. And some of those like the dragon bosses are very awkward because it's like you're you're walking on a, on the wrong axis to try and fight them. And it's like I'm I'm not sure why with, with this control scheme, I'm not sure why you want designed the boss fight like that because it's it just looks stupid. Yeah, you know, Sonic it's, definitely it's, it's needs, like, right. sidestepping or something. Yeah. Also, this is the weirdest remake of Final Fantasy IV. <laughs> 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 oh, Miss Dragon. Oh, that took me a moment. Sorry. Mister, <laughs> Miss, no, Miss Durgan. <laughs> so, um, is Sonic going to <laughs> blow to up a village Knight, now? He become a paladin. <laughs> Wait, I will Sonic say, does I like, become a paladin, though. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I will, this is a remake of four. I will say, though, this... I would say Black Knight has has no bullshit. One of my favorite, and like I, one of my favorite characterizations of Sonic the Hedgehog. He's literally just told, for you to like save the day, you're gonna have to kill someone. He's like, sure, why not? It's all shit and giggles. It's over. It. It's, it. all, it's all it's all a book to me. Exactly. Fuck it. You ain't fucking real. I don't give a shit. It's not murder if you don't get caught. <laughs> Sonic says. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Um, for some reason, this this is the only cutscene where like um, Caliburn's mouth moves like that, and every other cutscene don't do that. Well, he's usually shown. They usually show like the whole sword, so it's a little far away to show the detail. Although, since he has a tongue, that means that he can taste, which means he eats, which means what do you feed a sword? Spaghetti. Okay, seems legit. <laughs> he has a tongue, but Shingo did it. The, 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 the armor was it. black right there, Gareth, all right? That's gold, you blind bastard. That was very clearly black. <laughs> I, now it's, gold, now it's gold. Look at it. he, between the yeah. cutscene and the boss fight, yeah, he, he polished it. Is it blue it, and okay? black or gold and white? <laughs> oh, god damn it, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> so we were talking Time about Fight the Night. I actually really like the string rendition of it for this tutorial boss fight against I'm King Arthur. I, I will say, though, the... Um, the strings in this um, were actually programmed by uh, Richard Jacques, he of Sonic Carthy. I'll say it, it was very, I think, disrespectful 
to remove Johnny Gioetti singing, replace it with violins just to get social media likes. Fuck you, Rich. No. <laughs> Jeez. You can tell what's happened recently. <laughs> Wait, yeah. hold on. That one's going uh, over my head, so you'll have to tell me about uh, it between uh, the parts. So um, about, about a week ago, uh, T. Lopes and his sister and June Sinoy made a um, Candy Food of Sunshine cover for the Sonic Official YouTube channel, what have you. And Richard Talks put out a a tweet saying, pretty much for some reason, singling out T-Lopes to blame T-Lopes personally for making it. He said that, well, funny said the remix sounded bad, which is just wrong in my opinion. And he, he was he said that T-Lopes only covered the song for his own, to get social media likes. And it's like, uh, you're an idiot. And keep in mind, um, he's replying to the official Sonic Twitter. Like, he yes, didn't just call yeah. him out on his own Twitter. He literally replied to the Sonic tweet so that all the Sonic fans could see what Richard Jacques said. And tagged T-Lope saying he thought his, his work was bad. And then, and, and then he claimed he wasn't credited, even though he's right there in the creditations at yeah. the end of the song. Although, uh, uh, yeah, and also, um, apparently, Bentley Jones chimed in. And he's just like, yeah, fuck Richard Jacques. Because yeah. he's a dickhead. <laughs> Which, you know, he hasn't done... The last work he did was for the Sonic Boom game, so... I also used the, the soundtrack to Sonic Chronicles. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Sonic R, man. I, I, it was just one of those things. It was like, it was like I love your work, dude, but you're a fucking asshole. Yeah, pretty much. Like, Cause, yeah. Cause, like, cause why did Richard, you do that? Richard Jacques does music in this game, and it's it, it pains me to say now. It's some of my favorite tracks in this soundtrack are from him. <laughs> yeah. Because he he knows how, how to program a fake, like, fake instruments to sound real. His fake like orchestral tracks are, are the best sounded fake orchestra in the franchise. Because he, I guess yeah. he just knows how to program it correctly. Yeah. Uh, I loved his work in Sonic 3D Blast and the Saturn. And he did some real wonderful... It, 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 Sonic R, need I say more. And so he did some stuff for Sonic Generations. It was like, it's great stuff. But now I find out, it's like, oh, you're Look, a I've been a Dragon Quest fan for like 10 years at this point. I'm used to hating the right. composer as a... As like a normal yeah. but person, I don't want to because that lingers. <laughs> I, I do. Fuck him. 